Okay, so what I wanted to do, this might sort of seem like a little bit like taking you back to kindergarten, but what I thought would be a really good idea is if you kind of looked at your table, particularly if you're a beginner and you don't really know um, how to read players or how to read hands, basically if you were to go around the table and ask each player to tell you something important about what they're playing or about how they're playing or just tell them, tell them, get them to tell you something important about uh, th that you need to know, what would they say? Well, that's basically then up to you. What have you noticed about these players? What would they say to you if you if you were to ask them a question about how they're playing? So, first of all, you need to keep tabs on yourself. Okay, so obviously, you know, one of the most important things that you can say to someone else is, well, there are five players behind me, which means that you're aware of your position, which is obviously hugely important. Um, five players behind you pre-flop, and then three players behind you post-flop. But what about the other players? Well, um, there are two short stacks on the table, so they want you to take note that uh, they only have sort of five bucks um, in their stack, so which that, that will obviously affect your implied odds. And um, that will then, of course, affect your raising range and how you play against them because they don't have enough behind them to give you proper implied odds. Um, you notice that this guy um, does shuts down generally after continuation betting if he doesn't have at least top two. So if he's betting, then he has a strong hand. This guy called Queen-8 offsuit in the small bind last time, so you know that his calling range for a raise uh, in the blinds is very loose. So you can kind of say, well, if he does call, um, your relative hand strength might be very good if you flop a hand like top pair weak kicker or a mid pair kind of hand. Um, this guy likes to um, call a lot pre-flop and then fold most of the most flops that don't connect with his hand. So um, we can say that, well, okay, well, our response to that strategy is to continuation bet a lot. Um, and if he does call our continuation bets on the flop, uh, then we'll have to fold uh, fold the turn because obviously he only calls um, when he hits a hand. Um, this guy, as I found very common with uh, kind of short players, they love Broadway cards. So what that means is that even though we might have a hand like King Jack, he could also be playing a hand like uh, Jack-10 or King-10 or something that we might actually be ahead of. So be aware that a lot of players fall in love with face cards. Um, and then also be aware that particularly full ring players, because they play so tight, at least this was my experience, they really hate being sucked out on. And uh, some of them do tilt quite easily. So uh, if you suck out on someone for a big pot, be aware that they might be trying to outplay you or just be sort of be, be angry at you or um, be upset at you for sucking out, so be aware of that. Um, then other players just don't like to fold post flop. You know they'll call they'll call you down with mid pair, they'll call you down with the top pair weak kicker, etc. So all these things that you can notice, these very subtle things that might, you might only have sort of one hand that you've played with um, each of these players, but you can still. The point is that you can still elicit quite a fair bit of information about your opponents.